Welcome everyone for another video learning bite from ABC Learn Technologies. This is Raj. Uh, today we'll try to understand about the public cloud and private cloud in simple terminologies. Okay, so let's get started. So before we understand about these terminologies, let's try to analyze them against something we already know. Now a client's data center, we compare that with a home and uh, a it's like you know a public cloud which we are going to talk that we compare with a hotel so before getting into that let me just clarify again that a data center is nothing but where the company's servers are placed securely and they can be managed from there okay now as you can see here this private cloud which we are going to talk about it that is only for us just like the home the home we build it that is only for us. It is not going to be shared with anybody else. As it's only for us, we will be making sure to invest good amount of money for more security. Okay, so the private cloud is an in-house server virtualization. It's like, you know, I'll be setting it up in my data center so that, you know, I can take the benefit for my particular organization only. Okay. Now, whereas coming to the public cloud, we are comparing that with a hotel and the hotel is, this is not only for us. Anybody can go book a room and stay there. Similarly, anybody can go purchase a server from the vendor's data center and use it. Okay, right? Now, when someone else data center, I'm using it, and as uh, you know, it is managed by those vendors. Okay, when I say the vendors uh, here, uh, it is like you know AWS and Google and Microsoft Azure, etc. Okay, as it is managed by somebody else, I obviously feel a little less secure compared to the home. Okay, so the public cloud is server virtualization is by the vendor. Okay, now if you look. Uh, as, as we have already discussed, as we're getting more security, so we need more money and efforts needed. Okay, so that is an extra burden that the companies have to bear to get the benefit of the more security for their organization. Whereas, as we are using somebody else thing, okay, we won't be putting that much efforts as we have done with the private club. Okay, so this is one of the uh, easiest way to understand the public and private cloud. Okay, the one major thing you have to uh, understand is public cloud started it as use only when needed. Okay, use only when needed. Like, you know, I need some extra space, extra servers. Okay, then I used to go and use most of the public cloud servers. Now, so they are becoming more and more mature in terms of uh, security as well as from the features point of view also. Of course, I'm not talking about these things for this video bite. Okay, so this is a short one. Okay, uh, I hope now you understand uh, a bit more about the private cloud and public cloud. Uh, so if you like it, give a thumbs up button and uh, do subscribe and click a bell icon to get the latest updates from ABC Learn Technologies. Thank you.